guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Swap, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool fighting game on Scratch. Now, at the beginning, when I first started thinking of making this game, I was looking on Google for pictures or videos of people fighting that I could use in my game. But I found nothing. So after a few days of thinking what I could do, I figured out that I could just film myself doing the actions, which for me I did seven, but you can do how many ever you want for your game. And when I did that, I also uh, removed their backgrounds and uh, did a couple things with them to make them perfect for the game. So there you go, I had the things ready for the game. So yeah, make sure you watch the video to see what bugs or any other stuff that could happen to your project and how to fix them. So let's get started. Okay, so now let's go ahead and duplicate this uh, guy. Let's name him Philip. Oh, careful. Okay, and like I said, let's go ahead and duplicate him so that we can get the opponent. Um, all right, so we'll name this other guy when he loads in. He will take a bit to load because he, uh, there's tons of costumes they have to put. Now, so this guy will be named opponent. Opponent, and um, so basically he's not flipped, right? He's the same as this guy because um, in the costumes they're all the same as this guy because we just duplicated him. So we would normally have to go into the costumes and just flip all of the 300 costumes, but I don't feel like doing that right now. So let me tell you about a cool trick that Scratch has. It involves the turn block, which is going to be 180 degrees because we can turn it all the way around. And the, also the set rotation style block. Uh, now this set rotation style block has three different possibilities. It's got all around, don't rotate, and left, right. Don't rotate means that uh, this, and just it won't, whatever turn block you put, it just won't do it. Now uh, let me show you in one second. But first let me, at the beginning, point in direction 90. 90 because that's the default position. You want to point in that first. So now that I can show you what don't rotate means, it just, it's going to stay the same. It's right under this. It's going to stay the same because, like I said, don't rotate. It doesn't matter what turn block you put. Then we have all around, and basically all around does exactly what you expect it to do. So it'll flip him 180 degrees, which is upside down. But the one that we're going to be using is left, right, which basically just flips him around just like that. Next, let's go ahead and change all the keys for the opponent so that they can be on the other side of the keyboard. So we're going to have this one, Q, was punch. So our new punch is going to be K. A here was kick. So our new kick is going to be M. Um, this S here was high block. Our new high block is going to be up arrow. X was low block. Now it's going to be down arrow. And C was walk forward. This was walk forward, which is right for this guy. But for here, walk forward for him is going to be to the left. So this is actually going to be to the left. So left arrow. And then Z... Um, was walk to the left, which was backwards. Backwards for this one is right. But remember, this is going to be a uh, left arrow, so walking to the left. So all the change x's will have to be minus or negative. So that one's going to be negative 20, this is going to be negative 1, and this one's going to be negative 10. And don't forget to also change these ones. They're not negative, they're going to be positive now. Okay, now let's go ahead and test it. So, okay, let's just move this guy over here for now. And we can go ahead and start by punching. Alright, that looks good. Kicking. And I see a problem with that. It's like when you kick, see uh, here, he moves back. So that's probably because over here in the code for kicking, which is this one, um, it changes x by 35, which makes it go the, to the right. For, it's just backwards for him. So we actually, and then it goes back forward. But for this guy, we have to do it the other way around. This will be going back 
I mean, going forward, and this one's going to be going back. So this will be 35, and this will be negative 35. Okay? Now let's go back to checking the actions. So just check the kick one more time to make sure it's good. And you can see there that that is better. That's good. Okay? High block. Good. Low block. It's looking good. Now it's just the moving. Let's move left. All right, that's good. All right, that's good. Yeah. All right, so now let's go move backwards. All right, and that's good. So they all work. Next, let's go ahead and position this guy in a different position. So this is actually going to be just 100 with negative 40. Okay, so let's just see how that looks, and that's good. Okay. Now next, what we want to do is let's go ahead and make him black so that he looks different, so that not the same guy, uh, they don't look the same. So, let's go ahead and we'll do that by changing the, um, by setting the brightness effect to something. So, to make it black, we'll set brightness effect to negative 100, because that's black, and like 100, for example, would be white. So, I'll just do negative 100, and there you go. It's like he's kind of fighting his shadow, so that's good. Now we need them to be able to hit each other. And for that, we need to make sure that you can't punch somebody while they're high blocking and for it to actually count, or kick while they're low blocking and actually count. So, um, to do that, we gotta make sure that the other person isn't low blocking while you're kicking, and the same for punch and high block. So, to do that, we will get an if, and basically, this if will be um, if touching the other person. So in this case, it's going to be if touching Philip. So if touching Philip, and we'll need an and. And in that and, we'll put and costume uh, name of Philip. So basically, the name of the costume that he, uh, Philip's currently on. So if costume number of Philip um, contains, we're gonna use this new block, it's called contain, something contains something. So costume name of, oh sorry, costume name of Philip contains, and we're gonna write low, because all of the low blocks, all the costumes are called low block one, low block two, low block three, and so on. So if costume name of Philip contains low. Now this means, so this is going to be for kicking. So if you're kicking and he blocks, we don't want anything to happen. So we're actually going to do a not because we need to know when he's not doing, when he's not blocking. So yeah, that's it. And um, if that happens, then let's go ahead and just say I hit Philip, for example. Fill up for, let's just say, one second. Okay, now the question is, where do we put this if? So we obviously have to put it somewhere in this when M key press because that's when you kick. Um, when do you put it here, though? Where do you put it here, though? Uh, well, it's obviously got to be in the repeat because um, that's when he's actually doing the action of kicking. But, like, at the beginning of the action, his foot is just, like, barely sticking out. And I think that shouldn't count as actually kicking. So you should uh, only be counted as kicking when your leg is fully extended out. Which happens when this repeat is halfway done. So that's exactly where we're going to put this if. When this repeat is halfway done. Now, how do you do that? Well, we're going to use a cool idea of actually splitting this repeat into half. So basically... We're going to take this repeat 30 next costume, and we're going to make it a repeat 15 next costume two times. And let's we'll just go ahead and put that there. Okay. And in the middle of this repeat, because like I said, in the middle, we need to ask ourselves that if that we made earlier. So we're going to put that right there in the middle. So let's test it. And I'm going to go ahead and kick without the low block. Wait, so let me get close to him so that it can actually be touching. And then when I kick without him low blocking, 
it says I hit Philip. But when he starts low blocking and I kick, it doesn't say I hit Philip. So that works. Now let's go ahead and do the same for punch. So basically, we're going to have to split this repeat into half again. Now, since it's an odd number, uh, just go ahead and make it, since it's uh, 15, which is an odd number, you can just make it 7 and 8, or 8 and 7. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do 7 and 8. Okay, and don't forget that in the middle, you got to put this if. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it. Okay that back and I'm gonna change this contains low to contains high which is like high from high block okay let's go ahead and put that in and that should work let's go ahead and test it so when I punch wait let me get close to him sorry so when I punch without him high blocking oh wait I'm, I'm not sure if I hit him it says I hit Philip, right? But if I uh, block and punch, it doesn't say I hit Philip, so both, uh, so it works. Next, let's do the same for Philip. So let's go ahead and um, copy. Actually, wait, no, sorry, we don't have to duplicate it. Just take this and put it in the Philip. Okay, let's put that back. All right, and now we duplicated the if over to Philip right there. And first, let's go ahead and change around this if so that it's going to be for opponent, not for Philip. So if touching opponent and costume name of opponent, and you got to change this X position to costume name, contains, um, since we're going to do low kick, I mean, we're going to do kick first. Let's change it to low for now. And this is going to be I hit my opponent. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and split uh, this repeat, like I said, first for the kick, okay, and then we're going to duplicate this, oh, my bad, alright, we're going to, we're going to put that right there, okay, and now, since we're going to do next for punch, this is going to be high, okay, so let's go ahead and do it for punch, put that in there and put that in so that should be good so now let's go ahead and test it so let's get close and I'm gonna go ahead and punch with Philip while I'm not blocking okay it says I hit my opponent and now I'm gonna block and it doesn't say I hit my opponent so that's good now let's try kick okay it says I hit my opponent when I don't block and when I block it's a, it doesn't say I hit my opponent, so that is perfect. Now you may have noticed that this opponent is bigger than Philip, and that is because at some point in time, probably started the program and we kicked, and it changed size by negative five, and then we stopped the program before it could get to the code that says change size by five. So to fix this problem, we're just gonna go ahead and set size to 100% when green flag clicked for both of them. Okay. Now we have to make them fall when they get hit. So basically, instead of this say, um, so we're going to do it first with the punch, I guess. So we're going to get rid of the say, okay? And basically, we have to tell the other person that they have been hit and they need to fall, which is our one of our actions. So to tell the other person that they've been hit, we're going to broadcast a message. So here we're going to broadcast called uh, opponent was hit, okay? So that's when opponent was hit. And then if we go to our opponent, we're going to uh, put a when I receive opponent was hit. Then we're going to do our animation. But first, before we do our animation thing, or action, sorry, we're going to set idle to false. 
and this is because we don't want him to be idling while he falls. So we're just going to do set idle to false, and then um, we can just switch costume uh, to fall, which is right here, and then repeat, and I know that I have 30 of it, so I'm just going to repeat 30, next costume. Okay, and then we're going to stop all. Okay, and then make sure you go back here and change this, say, to a broadcast as well. Okay, so let's test it. And I'm just going to walk up to opponent and kick him. And there you go, he falls. But he falls a bit flat. So what I think would be better is that when he falls, he'll change his X a bit and go a bit backwards. So right here, we're going to change his X by 30. Because backwards for this guy is this way, so that's 30. And then also, I feel like it would look better if every time he changes his costume, he'll also go back by, let's say, 3. Okay? So, let's test it now. And I'm going to walk up to opponent again. And I'm going to kick him. And he falls much better now. It looks much more, like, realistic. So that's good. All right, now let's go ahead and broadcast a message, but for Philip, not for opponent. So instead of these says, we're going to broadcast the message, but we're not going to broadcast opponent was hit. We're going to broadcast uh, Philip was hit. Okay. And then make sure you do it also here. Make sure it's Philip was hit. And then basically you want to duplicate this. And put it in the Philip code so that we don't have to write all of it again. So this is going to be Philip was hit. And this is going to be in negative 30 because he needs to fall backwards for him, which is this way. And this would be negative 3. Okay. Okay, now one last thing is that when you get hit, when you receive that message, this set idle to false makes you stop idling when you're falling. But you can be in the middle of a like a punch or a kick, for instance. So this set idle to false is not enough. So instead of that, we're gonna delete it. We're gonna take this stop all, and we're actually gonna do stop other sp scripts in sprite right here. We're gonna put that, and same for this guy. So get rid of that block, and we're gonna put this right there, okay? So at this point, you're pretty much done with the game. You can improve your game by making the guys have multiple lives or add different backgrounds so that uh, they look like they're fighting somewhere else or add sound effects for punch, kick, and stuff like that. But that's enough for me, and um, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time for another game we can make on Scratch.